Yes. Um, do you think Benjamin Netanyahu is getting more internationally isolated? He did with the uh, Charlie Hebdo uh, marches, he was told not to come, and he did turn up to uh, Washington unannounced recently, and this and Kerry and the ambassadors of the peace process seem to hate him. But it's not had a price. That's the problem. It's not been converted into a cost. <laughs> At the level of personality, yes, he's probably the most loathed leader in the world, including the head of state of North Korea. Uh, but there's been no price to be paid. Will there be a price? I don't think so. Because it, it does uh, take a certain amount of, it's tough to break the Israeli uh, nut. And nobody seems to want, nobody yet. If there's that mass movement, yes, I think pressure can be put. But not now. Nobody's willing to do it. Just a follow up question to that. Since no price, but Elias Ron was uh, kind of said, if he entered certain, certain countries, they said he'd arrest them. Yeah, but look what happened. It was all the, the attempts in what was called universal jurisdiction. They were annulled in the case of the UK. I think it was annulled in the case of Spain, if my, mem <coughs> my memory has it. Um, those attempts to hold Israel legally accountable for the crimes, uh, nothing came of it. The governments, including the British government, just caved in.